Best Singing Competition Series currently on TV in 2021. Singing competition series have been on the air for decades, dating all the way back to Star Surge. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the best singing competition series currently on TV in 2021. Stay tuned. American Idol American Idol is largely considered to be the most influential reality singing competition series of this generation. It is certainly the one that has introduced singers who have gone on to enjoy the most success, like Kelly Clarkson, the show's first ever winner, Carrie Underwood, and even those who didn't win like Chris Daughtry and Jennifer Hudson. Yet somehow, viewers gave American Idol a pretty low overall ranking. This is most likely more representative of recent versus older seasons. The show has gone through a lot of changes, most notably a revolving door of judges, landing from the last few seasons of Lionel Richie, Katy Perry, and Luke Bryan. The show was also canceled by Fox in 2016, only to be revived by ABC in 2018, which remains its current home. I can see your voice. Kim Jong hosts this unconventional competition series, which is more of a game show than the competition for singers. Rather, players try to guess who the talented and less than stellar singers are among the group without ever hearing them sing. It's all based on their lip syncing, mannerisms, occupation, dress, and other details revealed about their life. A celebrity panel of judges helps by providing their insight. Adapted from a South Korean show, I Can See Your Voice premiered in 2020 and has renewed for a second season. America's Got Talent While America's Got Talent is technically not a singing competition show, a significant percentage of the talent featured on the show is singers, not to mention the majority of winners from previous seasons. Based on the British original Britain's Got Talent, America's Got Talent premiered in 2006 with the intention of highlighting all kinds of talents, from magicians to ventriloquists, dance crews, and yes, singers. 15 seasons have aired to date, with its 16th currently on air. The Mass Singer Easily the most bizarre show on the list, celebrities don elaborate costumes to hide their identity, then take the stage to perform various songs and sometimes dance routines. The panel of judges and viewers at home listens to vague clues, often designed to misdirect and try and guess the identity of the famous person. Some contestants are actual singers, while others can't sing very well, and many celebrities on other fields of entertainment with secret talent for singing. Hosted by Nick Cannon, The Masked Singer is a fun series that is enjoyed by entire families who love to listen intently, take notes, and share their guesses. Since its premiere in 2019, The Masked Singer has become a massive hit, even spawning a spinoff, The Masked Dancer. Season 5 began airing on March of 2021. Sing On Netflix has thrown its hat into the scene competition ring with the one hosted by Titus Burgess that debuted in September of 2020 and is technically more of a game show than a scene competition show. The premise of Sing On is unique in that six players must perform five songs of the same theme but do so together. And there's a catch. They have to sing their assigned lines from each song in a random assigned order. It's easy to get thrown off, but each person is only as strong as the next on their team. Sing On has been compared to The Weakest Link but with singing. The show has not officially been renewed by the streaming service, but it hasn't been cancelled either. The Voice Despite The Voice not producing as many high-profile stars as American Idol, it still ranks much higher among viewers. Interestingly though, much of the appeal of the show is the hilarious and witty banter among the four judges, which have included names like Adam Levine, Christina Aguilera, Kelly Clarkson, Gwen Stefani, John Legend, Nick Jonas, and mainstay Blake Shelton. The idea is to strip any biases about what a person looks like out of the equation by having the judges back turn on them during the initial auditions. Once each of the judge has their team, they provide one-on-one -on -one coaching to help them get their singers to the end making the series more like a competition among judges than it is a competition for the singers. The Voice has 20 seasons under its belt with Ariana Grande joining the show for season 21. Chances are the series will not be ending anytime soon. Lip Sync Battle While this series hasn't been on since its fifth season aired in 2019, it hasn't been cancelled either. Lip Sync Battle will reportedly be moved to another network, though no official announcement has been made to date. With that said, the series, based on a short sketch that first appeared on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon and produced by Fallon along with John Krasinski and Stephen Merchant, it actually the complete opposite of a scene competition show. Rather, two celebrities compete one another to see who can put on the most exciting, entertaining lip singing performance. So even though there's no actual singing, there's a lot of pretend singing with one person. Rhythm and Flow Premiering on Netflix in 2019, the focus of Rhythm and Flow is on singers within a specific genre, rap who are coached and critiqued by the panel of judges that include hip-hop artist Cardi B, Chance the Rapper, and Tip T.I. Harris. Not only was this Netflix first original music competition series, but it is also one of the first major music competition series to focus on rap. And because Netflix does not adhere to the same censorship regulations as network television, profanity is permitted in lyrics, while Rhythm and Flow has gotten through the green light for a second season, there's no confirmed premiere date just yet. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss any amazing video from us. Also, watch the next two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. Also, go ahead and let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.